What is going on, you guys? It is your boy, Umzi, here. here. This is Back ITZX. Here. We are here with the season finale of The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Obviously, six episodes. This one, one world, one people. It is... I feel like the show, it, it was good for what it is. Um, the, the show has been, like... It, it's good to have, like, that action back into Marvel because we haven't had it in a while. I mean, granted, we only had it in one episode back in WandaVision, but, like, this is, like, the true kind of thing with marvels like we haven't had this in a while mm -hmm. but overall i think this series has been really good it has been i believe but i've really grown to love bucky and sam more than i previously did i can admit that and probably you can as well mm -hmm. um i think bucky would probably be my favorite character in this i feel like he got yes, fleshed out a lot more and i really do like it uh as for a season two i'm one of the people that don't think it's gonna happen i would more likely to see because we obviously know he got the suit and I honestly want him to be in, a, in his own movie in the future. It's like, you can honestly do that. So I, I don't think going on the TV route is the smart idea. Like I said, with Loki, it makes sense. Like if you maybe want to do one more season, because you could do anything with that. But with this right here, have his own movie. Shit. I mean, get, give the uh, black community like another hero to look, like, look for. Because this, this episode is going to be a big moment for him. So obviously from the last episode... They were about to infiltrate the quote unquote meeting, uh, either the meeting or vote or whatever that was going on. And they're in New York. How fancy. But yeah, it looks like everybody is coming in and they are about to start <clears throat> causing havoc. We did see from the post credit scene that John Walker is creating his own shield. Obviously, it is not made by Vibranium, but it's a shield nonetheless. But let's see if he plays into anything that's going on in New York. But... If you guys are new to the channel, you guys like our reaction, make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. And if you guys want to get notified on where we release videos, definitely smash the notification bell. If you guys are going to check out our merch and Discord, links in the description. With that being said, let's get right in the last episode. Breaking news. There is a complete lockdown at the GRC meeting in Lower Manhattan, where authorities are sitting there tracking multiple threats from groups seeking to stop the GRC's vote on global resettlement. There is a no-fly zone in effect, and the NYPD has the area... No-fly zone, you say? That's a pretty cool shot. Yeah. Ugh. Uh-oh. What's the plan? The car has got to be close. Keep your eyes open. Yeah, well, they could be anyway. Excuse me, sir. Are you supposed to be here? It's me. Oh. Sharon, what the hell are you doing here? Black someone's looking for me here. Go out here, Sharon. Unfortunately. Hey, Sam. Thought I'd get the band back together. Thank you. I hear pardons are not that cracked up to be anyway. Depends on the therapist. Depends on the therapist. I love how they're teasing the suit. Ah, oh, shit. Thermal detonator? Smoke grenade? Yeah. Classic villain in 101 poisonous gas. I do admit, in the- <gasps> Oh hey. shit! Oh god damn! Ooh, that fucking nice. suit! Oh. Damn, son. Wow. God damn. Oh, what's going on on your end? Nothing, I'll fly. I'm sorry, wait. Who are you? Captain America. Fuck Captain yeah. America Carly's not coming in. Shark wants everybody out. East Alpha Bravo. It's a misdirect. We gotta keep everybody inside. Okay. You'll cost me a lot of money. See, if you don't know who this is, this is the dude in Winter Soldier that Cap was fighting. You guys are gonna have to do something. Carly. Aren't you tired of fighting for the wrong side, Mr. Barnes? I've done this before, kid. I know how it ends. It doesn't matter if I don't survive this. I'm fighting for something bigger than myself. And with all the bodies you've collected, have you ever been able to say the same? You don't think I ever fought for something bigger than myself? That's all I ever tried to do. And I failed twice. Yeah. On both sides. I can only know where their carriers are going. Yeah. 
sausages and route MTA for six minutes. Seriously, Bucky, you have one job. Don't worry about your guy. Bucky on a bike. Put like a tracker on him or some shit. What the fuck? Oh, oh god damn. Dioxys. How'd you manage that? Mercury vapor, amongst other things. Wow. You better speed things up, Sam. The chopper's about to take off. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, whoa, okay. Oh god. That's cool. So cool. God damn. This is a really fun universal ride. See if anyone in there has flight training. That's crazy. Okay, well, we can still get out of here. Before. No, Diego's in the air. The trucks are almost here. Worst case scenario, we kill the hostages. Yeah, that always works. We're supposed to use them to negotiate, to stop that boat. Hope for the best, prepare for the worst. Hold tight, move fast. One world. One world. One people. One people. One people. Start with cold feet. Yeah. I'd be sick as hell on that chopper. Oh shit. Oh wow, they just clipped them. Oh god, wow. It's pretty sick. Nice. God damn, that soup. Yeah, uh... Oh, shit. I don't understand why you wouldn't reverse. It's really <laughs> not that hard a concept. Every oh God. cop should have defensive driving capabilities. Uh-oh. Uh, he's not stopping. Oh, shit! <laughs> yeah, that'll do. So what is... Is that just a... Uh oh. Let's finish this. Really? I, to your friend. I don't want to hurt people that don't matter. You don't think Lamar's life mattered? Not to my fight. I just want the people on that truck. <laughs> yeah. Same design, but different material. Oh, God. Damn. 
interesting. I paid for my time. Oh shit. Okay. Sleep. Not yet. Oh shit! Oh god! <gasps> nice superhero landing. Oh god! Put in your earbuds. A little birdie told me you know how to fly a helicopter. Oh, well, there goes all that shit. Oof. <laughs> okay, what we're gonna do requires perfect timing. We're gonna come down from five. When we get to one, you're gonna grab the control. Okay? Five. The control or the SMG? Three. Two. Oh shit! That'll do. Wow, completely do. took him out of there. That'll do, Donkey. That'll do. Oh, uh, I assume he's dead. He went splat. Depends on the super soldier skill. Oh, God. Headbutt. Maybe. Always works. Parkour! Oh god. Ooh, shit. Nice. Oh my god. Oh wow. Oh shit. Is that where they are? Gonna be a redeeming moment. Wow, he's holding it. Holy shit. He's pulling it. Or back. pulling it, yeah. Oh, fuck. Fuck, you gonna catch it? I don't know. Both of them? Oh, shit. Yeah, I had a feeling. I was wondering where he was gonna come in. Yeah. Set her down easy. That's cool. You got two of them. Just like Iron Man, too. You got Falcon mixed with Captain America and Iron Man. This is what you get. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> I got these both. Hello. Oh my god, it's getting all of them. Good to see that move back. You of all people bought into that bullshit. I'm trying something different. Maybe you should do the same. What the fuck was that? Oh, that's fucking what's her name. Going to kill her ass. Oh, no, it's not. Where's it? Yeah. I, I thought that was her ass gonna go and fucking kill her. That's a cool ass shot.
I always love the, like the running through the hallways, yeah. shit like that. <clears throat> Sure. The tunnel, William, south. Looks like that's cool. Oh, man. I have a feeling what's her name is. I keep forgetting her name. Sharon. Sharon. Oh, oh shit. Do it. I said drop it. I'm disappointed in you. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah. You know, when you came to Madripoor, you reminded me of a young me. You took so she me is in. Power broker. So, you yeah. an opportunity. And you betrayed me. Because yep. you wanted to control a world that hurt you. But I wanted to change it. I'm not interested in power or an empire. I have bigger dreams. What? Like this? Come back and work for me again. All of you, we can make a difference together. You just want me because you need your muscle back. Without a super soldier, how much power does a power broker already have? Mm-hmm. More than you. You hired Blackjock to spoil me. Carly, you know I'm always prepared. Get out my way. I'm done with these games. I don't want no power broker. It's about to vomit for you. Quatre fois ce que tu me devais. I feel like he's gonna, she's gonna shoot him. Or, je vais dire au monde entier qui tu es vraiment. Okay. I don't do blackmail. Yeah. Oh fuck! Did she go down too? So I'm gonna stay back. So what's the next, huh? You killed ten this time, then what? A hundred? Don't try manipulating me. Damn. Like that. Dude, he is gonna become a badass hero in phase five. Or phase four. Put stay down. U.S. agent's gonna pop the fuck out of nowhere. Trade for a siren. Oh! There is richer fruit than strict justice. It's a great app. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, wait, I'm like, just don't care. Lincoln? Yeah, put me in handcuffs really? like that Three art man. that are gonna be like the fucking oh, equivalent of the plastic toy one. <laughs> <laughs> Just stab oh shit. Remember the last time someone went into a fucking Bullshit. Who shot her? Okay. Sharon? Yeah. I'm sorry. Too late, bitch. You're going to hell. <laughs> <laughs> Apologizing to the wrong man. I'm curious if they'll do a what if series on that. Maybe. Because with the whole like Marvel what if thing. Yeah. I'm curious if they'll do like Bucky as Captain America instead of. Batman. No, I bet. I'm, I'm like, there's a lot like that could happen with the what if series, and I'm like excited to see what that's gonna be. Are they never gonna find out that she was fucking power broker, or like, probably not? Because both witnesses are dead. Fuck. Where's the shield, dog? It's probably on his back. I hope. I didn't see it on there when he was like flying. Oh, okay, there it is. See, because usually like it rims over, that you can see the, the top of the rim. Mm. See, look how like you can see it. I was like, where the fuck is the damn thing? Okay, it just barely 
barely breaches the code. When is the government making Captain America? What are they calling us? It's all about all the Captain Falcon. Sam, thank you so much. From all of us. Sincerely. You did your part in dealing with those terrorists, now we'll do ours. Are you still going forward with resetting the borders? Our peacekeeping troops will begin relocating people soon. The terrorists only set us back a bit. You have to stop calling them terrorists. What else would we call them? Your peacekeeping troops carrying weapons are forcing millions of people into settlements around the world, right? What do you think those people are going to call you? Look, I get it. But you have no idea how complicated this situation is. You know what? You're right. And that's a good thing. We finally have a common struggle now. Think mm -hmm. about that. For once, all the people who've been begging, and I mean literally begging for you to feel how hard any given day is, now you know. How did it feel to be helpless? This isn't about easy decisions, Senator. You just don't understand. I'm a black man carrying the stars and stripes. What don't I understand? Every time I pick this thing up, I know there are millions of people out there who are going to hate me for it. Even now, here, I feel it. The stares, the judgment. Ah, uh, fuck. Yet I'm still here. No super serum. No blonde hair or blue eyes. The only power I have is that I believe we can do better. We can't demand that people step up and we don't meet them halfway. You control the banks. Shit, you can move borders. You can knock down a forest with an email. You can feed a million people with a phone call. But the question is, who's in the room with you when you're making those decisions? Is it the people you're going to impact? Or is it just more people like you? True. I mean, this girl died trying to stop you. And no one has stopped for one second to ask why. You've got to do better, Senator. You've got to step up. Because if you don't, the next Carly will. And you don't want to see 2.0. People believed in her cause so much that they helped her defy the strongest governments in the world. Man, what a moment. Why do you think that is? Look, you people have just as much power as an insane god or a misguided teenager. The question you have to ask yourself is, how are you going to use it? Give this dude his own fucking movie. My god. We gotta get you to a hospital. She's not gonna listen. Hey, it's not the worst thing that's happened to me all week. Told you. Uh, Cap? I think he's talking to you. Look, I'm sorry for how things ended down there. For what it's worth. So it looks good on you. <coughs> What's up? So, we got eyes on the last flag smasher that fell into the Hudson. He's hurt, but not down. Can you help? Always. Nice. Affirming the prisoners have cleared final process. We are transporting them to the raft. The raft? Ooh, um, they're bringing that shit back. Hmm. The movement will continue on, probably. Oh shit! Oh, fucking killed him. <laughs> Who the fuck is that? Oh damn. Alfred? God damn it! <laughs> Son of a bitch. Dude, holy fuck! I wonder who we're gonna see here. Wait, this, I thought Zemo was supposed to be on Wakanda. That's what I was thinking. I was supposed to say, wait. 
the raft isn't a Wakandan prison. I don't think. I don't remember that. Zemo had something to do with that. Oh. Hey, Walker, check your phone. Looks like our friend Zemo kind of got the last laugh. Wow. Right? Wow. Couldn't have worked better if I planned it myself. Oh. Yeah, that is oh, her from fucking... No, I'm kidding. I did so. Walker! My God! Let's go! Is he going to come out with a new suit? I was about to say, is it black? Yep, That's black and nice. Red. No, this is more like it. Yep, I knew it. I knew it was going to be the black What's suit. What black? Yeah, well, yep. things are about to get weird. So, when they do... American agent. We're not going to need a Captain America. We're going to need... A U.S. agent. Yes, sir. That's correct. Keep your phone on. Will do, Val. Don't call me that. Mm -hmm. Copy. Thank you. Hail Hydra. Hail Hydra. <laughs> wow. Reminds me of Cap's Hydra suit. Back, back, back. Back. You've seen that shit, right? I have not. Oh, fuck. Shoot. Here it is. Oh, boy. I'm curious how this is going to go. Hey, what are you doing here? It's late. Come in before someone call the cops. Before someone call the cops. <laughs> oh, man. What are you doing here? It's not Wednesday. He was murdered. What? My winter soldier. And that was me. Why? I do not have a choice. Ugh. It was very brief. It's what needed to be done. Oh, wow. Yep. He even crossed Zemo. Uh, best therapist in the world. Well, really, he was saying that was the best therapist. Finished the book. Thanks for all your help, Doc. Oh, man. Sam was the one that really helped him actually fix his No, he did. At least she was a star. She kind of played into it. That's the old man. Isaiah. Fucking Isaiah. Oh, oh my god. I gotta see this. Woo! What you want, Black Falcon? <laughs> <laughs> You learn some math. He ain't a falcon anymore. But he's still black. It's true. <laughs> he ain't a falcon anymore. I love that. What you want, my man? I, I love that kid's attitude, man. I said, seen so did everyone else. I heard the GRC was standing down on those plans of theirs. So, you must have done something right. So, Black Captain America, huh? Damn right. <laughs> Damn. Wow. The fight you taking on ain't gonna be easy, Sam. Yeah, I might fail. Shit, I might die. But we built this country. Bled for it. I'm not gonna let anybody tell me I can't fight for it. Not after what everybody before me went through. Including you. Shit. <laughs> Shit. Almost bought that. <laughs> Almost bought that. Do you ever like that? Nope. <laughs> hey, why don't you clean up? There's um something I want to show you. Oh shit. So, uh, Ugh. where are we going? 
<laughs> oh my Big god, is he? Face. Oh my god, don't tell me. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh shit. Now they'll never forget what you did for this country. Never. Literally makes me want to fucking cry. Good way to end it. Are we really ending here? No? Crawfish! Mm -hmm. Hey, crawdads! Better tell me you invited Isaiah. Wow. Captain America and the Winter Soldier. Hey, I love man. that. That was a sick end. I fucking love that. There's the gotta be an No, end. oh no, there is. I'm oh, like, there I'm is. Like, I'm looking at the clock. <laughs> it's only 45 minutes. I'm like, I know. Look at all time. that fucking time. Woo! Shit! For a hell of a late credit scene. I love that. Ms. Carter, on behalf of the United States Intelligence Community, I'd like to offer you and your family our sincerest apologies. Your Carter name has always been synonymous with service and trust. Today we begin to set things right. We begin to repay some of the debt that is owed to you. Thank you, Senator. I've been waiting to hear those words for a long time. We'd like to offer you a full pardon. There may be an opening in your old division. Is that something you'd be interested in? It would be my honor. Welcome home, Agent Carter. Hmm. Power broker and now back on the shield. Here comes Hydra. Here comes Hydra. Mm. Start lining up our buyers. Super soldiers might be off the menu, but we're about to have full access to government secrets, prototype weapons, you name it. Should be something for everyone. What could the government be working on right now? I'm trying to think of like the different things within Marvel. That uh, like Carter threatened. Um I don't I mean, I don't know. Like I said, we're still very early into phase four. Um Yeah, I don't know. We're we're still really early. Is it phase strange, four or phase five? Two, I, I don't know. I it's still comes phase. out next year, right? Yeah. Um, and they're actually about to finish filming that too. They're 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 about to finish production on that. Um, Dude, that's one thing in my life that I want to be on like a an actual film set, movie set, like like Marvel movie set. Like how far do, or how close were you to um, the Avengers set when it was like? Well, first I fucking filming? saw it. You you saw it. You were down yeah. on East. I was night. Oh. I was watching it when they fucking. There was one where they were on the, on the highway doing the chase scene. And I, I saw that. Oh, shit. Winter Soldier as well, well. Well, yeah, I saw that shit, and mm. then I saw because um, I went to my uh, grandma's work for lunch that day because, like, she was like, "Oh, they're filming. You should come see it." So I went down and had lunch with her, and we watched them do the the shot down the fucking um, the one street where yeah, with the car flipped yeah, over. The car flipped over. I fucking saw that shit in person. <laughs> I was like, "Dude, that's fucking lit!" I was like, "Oh my god." That was dude. That was probably one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Was like that, fil like that film set where like the biggest fucking moment. And when yeah. we watched the movie, I was like, I was there. I was right on the other side of the street. <laughs> I saw that shit. I wish I could have been there when the because I never got to saw the actual big ass explosion. I think in front of the Capitol building it was mm -hmm. with the first Avengers, like that big ass explosion. I wish I could have been there, but like I, I see videos on it. It looks incredible. Um, so here's my hope is yeah. that they'll come back to Cleveland. Yeah. Because they use that as the set for the Avengers Tower, so. Yeah. 
And I, I'm, I'm hoping s- that they'll continue to use Cleveland. I'm kind of mad that they didn't come back here for any of the latest Spider-Man movies. Like, I'm kind of mad about that. Well, they probably went to New York, like legit New York. They they went, they shot most of their stuff in New York, but they mostly filmed it in Atlanta. That's what they've been filming all their, like, Spider-Man films for the past, like, couple years. See, that's the thing about, like, filming, like, that I've learned is, like, you never actually film in the location, or you really ever film in the location that you're Most most likely it's for not big, giant cityscapes. It's mostly, like, for little businesses, Mm -hmm. like there was in Homecoming and... Mm-hmm. Obviously, Far From Home wasn't taking place in Atlanta, mm-hmm. but um, anyway. but still, like I, I, I hope that they do come back and whatever that they got planned for the future, they come back and film. I mean, like I said, we're still very early into Phase Five, and with all the things that they have planned and everything. But overall, really good show. I it was honestly, I would say this was definitely better than the WandaVision season finale. Like, this season finale was really, really good, especially with the whole Isaiah Bradley, him getting his um, plaque and his um, place in the um, museum. Um, yeah, I, honestly, I don't know where they, uh, I don't know where they're going from here. Obviously, Sharon Carter has everything. Let's just say that she has everything. She's able to know what the hell the government's planning or whatever the future holds. Right. So, yeah, I, I, I like, and obviously we had that since the beginning that she was the power broker, even before the comments started coming in about it. It was like, I was still a little bit sus. And just the way she was acting when the the um, when the person got killed and how like mad she was at Zemo for it. But yeah, overall, really good show. Like I said, we're, our, the next two shows... It's probably our most anticipated. Like, obviously, we have Loki in June. And then I think, yeah, June 25th, I think, is when What If comes out. Mm-hmm. So this was the Hydra suit. This is one of them. Oh. And then this is the other one. Uh, oh. So it's like it's, it's, it was very similar to how the American Asian was. Like, the solid blood with the, solid black with the red accent. Yeah. It's like, I was like. That shit looks like the it, Hydra suit. No, it, it, it's paying tribute. Yeah. It, it really is. It's paying mm-hmm. tribute. And speaking of the suit, oh my god, the suit for Falcon was unbelievable. Mm-hmm. That shit looks beautiful. Wakanda, you would do a great job. But yeah, I was wondering why the fuck Zemo wasn't in Wakanda. Like, I was really, I, I love, really I love that they went back to the raft from Civil War, but just right. like, it was really like weird. I'm like, wait. <laughs> Yeah, so I was really confused at like why he was there and not in Wakanda. So like he's just he's said, just chilling. Like they said, they were gonna fucking keep him there for the rest of his days. So my question is, what the fuck actually happened? Because Wakanda did have him in custody. Yeah. So like, did they shoot the fucking plane down? Did they go to Wakanda? Like, what the fuck happened? But I, yeah. I don't know. Maybe so. Like somebody will tell us. I don't know. But yeah, I think this show did justice to all its counterparts, did all did justice to all its characters or and everything. Um, and like I said, only can't wait for the future. I want to see him get his own movie. I do. Uh, maybe even Winter Soldier or not Winter Soldier, but just Bucky can have something as well. But really, really good moment for Sam. This is probably with um, uh, Anthony Mackie's best performance as Sam Wilson ever in the mcu so far but yeah the future is really really bright for the new captain america Mm -hmm. especially going where where, wherever we're going in the next avengers movie i don't really know if it is going to be secret wars i don't know like it's possible but i I don't know for it to be accurate for secret wars um spider-man has to get the black suit Mm -hmm. because i right on the front of the comic i mean i have like it's spider-man in the venom suit or the, or the stealth black suit. Yeah. Like, so know. does he need the, the stealth suit or the symbiote? See, the stealth suit... Because he already has the stealth suit, yeah. The movie yeah. isn't entirely... Because like, it's the Venom suit. It's, mm-hmm. it's the fucking Venom suit. Yeah. But, like... um, I'm pretty sure... You know, like, like when you look at the comic, it, it's the Venom suit. Mm-hmm. Like the, the emblem and everything yeah. is the Venom. Yeah, you would know if it's the Venom suit. Right, because it has the, like, extended legs, and it's, like, it, like that, it's the Venom suit. I can go mm. look at the fucking comic cover right now. Yeah. But it's the Venom suit. So, that makes me think Venom 2, I don't know if that comes out before the next 
probably will come out for the next Avengers movie. I don't know if it comes out later. If they push it to later this year or next year. I think they pushed it to next year, but I don't know. I could check. But Or maybe at the end of the this new Spider-Man movie for this year. Right, because that's coming out this year. Yeah, right? yeah, three's coming out. Maybe, maybe at the end of it, they'll see something with Venom. Maybe. I mean, no matter what, this is Tom Holland's. Th- this is the last Marvel s MCU movie, unless they sign a new contract, because right. obviously they're going to bring Tom Holland into the Sony verse and bring all their shit together. We already know it's coming together right. with Morbius bringing in shit from Homecoming and just all that stuff. So we know their plan is to have Tom Hardy's Venom and Tom Holland Spider Man on screen together so right. no matter what so, he's going to get the symbiote suit my thought is that yeah he gets the symbiote suit and that allows him to you know play the part of you know the venom spider-man and like like as soon as he gets mm-hmm. that black suit dude i'm like set secret wars i know it's secret wars mm-hmm. that, like especially with his identity revealed it goes into into secret wars Unle- well, it depends on like what the hell is going to happen in three because I mean, the, so far the only thing I know about three and seeing it from set photos, there's two different sides. You got like society kind of depicting two sides. It's like, oh, they support Spider Man and they don't support Spider Man. Like, do they believe? Do they don't believe that he killed Mysterio and just all that stuff? There's rumors that Mysterio could still be alive, which I think he still is. But it, I don't know where three is going to lie. Like I said, we it's almost about to be May. The movie comes out in December. We still don't have anything. And I can see maybe why, and I was thinking about this today. They are really waiting for Maguire and um, Garfield to finish their scenes because they're going to have something in the trailer. Mm-hmm. They need, they want to get them in the trailer to get everybody talking and excited. And shit, I'm that's so what excited everybody... to see fucking Toby again, man. Dude, when I see Toby in that fucking theater, I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. <laughs> Whether I get it on <laughs> camera or not. Zero, like, dude. yeah. Like him, just dude, everybody, man. Like they, I, they confirmed that Alfred Molina's Doc Ock, they're going to be retconning his death from mm-hmm. Spider Man Two. Uh, they're going to be de aging him and all that. So I don't know. I, it would have made sense. I, like you could still have him dead, but I don't know. Maybe warp him into like in a, uh, like I said, multiverse. You can make him go through a portal or some shit. But yeah, it's really interesting that they are retconning his death. So I want to see how like what the plot is i don't understand then because then how would the you know reactor be taken down if he didn't maybe it's in like maybe like i said multiverse alternate universe like maybe doc ock does yeah well then that wouldn't be retconning and he would still be dead in that universe but like he would come from another universe and still be alive like you don't have to retcon the fucking death like like I said, they're, they're, I mean, going off the shit from Endgame, you can mess up something from one reality, but it won't alter yours. Because that, yeah. that was the shit with the whole Back to Future shit. It's like, oh, if you mess up something, it will affect your future. The other thing, it was completely reverse in Endgame. But, yeah, I, I don't know. Like, obviously, there have been plot leaks. Don't know if they are true or not true. I haven't read into any of them because it's, I want to go blind into this movie because this movie does have the chance to at least get close to Endgame, maybe even break Endgame. I don't know. We went we went for the poster, but we also went like to support it being beating Avatar because it was we yeah, wanted to Avatar has been out for so long. Do you think Avatar deserves the spot that it does? Because no, listen. Yeah, I don't think Avatar. I have never seen Avatar, so I, I still want to see. it. I don't think it's that good of a movie. Mm-hmm. I think it's a good movie, but I don't think it's as good as it fucking to be the highest grossing to. movie of all time. I don't believe that it's you know that held up to me i mean I, I i think shrek's better like I, really not a a shrek, shrek is good is the fucking no i know shit. if you think shrek doesn't deserve to be top in the box offices you're fucking at least generous. top at least top 15 let me say but but like no like avatar is a it's a it's an okay movie mm-hmm. it's not something that i would have gone to see twice let alone you know three times like yeah I've seen, I have seen Endgame a lot, I have probably seen three. It one time, like around the time when it released on DVD, and that's been it. I literally haven't seen it since because mm. I was like, mm, it's okay. Yeah, it's not like that because it. Well, the difference between Shrek and Endgame, Shrek wasn't three through like three hours long too. Yeah, but it's still you know one of the greatest movies of all time. No, no, you're right. You're right. I mean, regardless, like. 
But I needed to go see it for a second time, at, at least for another yeah, time. With the, well, that was another thing is to go see the background information and like re, you know, re, you know, evaluate everything and like look at everything in the in the background. Because it was a lot to take in. Details, yeah. Let alone lot. for three hours, yeah. Right. But didn't take a piss break in either showing. Dude, I, Sean was gonna be like, dude, I, I'm gonna sit here. Yeah, I don't need. I don't need to go to the bathroom. He's like, dude, you better fucking go because you. you Trust me, the, your shit's going to hit right when that third act's going to come up, and I know your ass isn't going to leave the seat. So I'm like, you better go now. And trust me, after the movie, we were all waiting in line. My God. But, yeah, yeah <laughs> shit, the next Avengers movie will probably be four hours. Who the fuck knows? Probably maybe even two parts again. But overall, I, <laughs> like I said, who, who knows? Um, does F- Fantastic Four or Doctor Doom play into Secret Wars, or is that... With something else, because um, I couldn't remember. Because I really think that is Fantastic Four. Because I really think that's what they're setting up with the Avengers movie. That's what I think they're setting well, up. My my prediction for the next big bad Thanos level is Doctor Doom. Mm-hmm. Like for the longest time, I've always preached that it's going to be Doctor Doom, especially with them doing the whole multiverse shit. Yeah, the multiverse. Like, that's yeah, literally how Doctor Doom becomes the big bad. It's where he's like, oh, I'm gonna I, he conquers his universe. And then he goes and he finds about the multiverse, and he's like, oh, shit, we're going to go conquer all these motherfuckers, too. Mm. And that's when he becomes, like, a galactic threat, like, or a universal threat. So, like, yeah. Um, I wonder if they'll ever bring in Madoc. <laughs> Fucking big ass, the big floating ass Modoc? head. Mo- what did I say? Madoc? Madoc. Oh, my God. Modoc. Modoc? Yes. <laughs> I was like... Goddamn. <laughs> but, like, I... Uh, I assume they'll bring him in eventually. Who who knows? I'm I'm still waiting for them to. They're gonna probably bring in Galactus in like I, I was a couple just about phases to say from I now. I want to see Galactus. That's like what I want to fucking see is Galactus. Like there's there's so much to do for Marvel. Marvel de- definitely still has a bright future, even with Shang Chi. Like I, I I don't know if you checked out the trailer, but I did. I'm actually really fucking excited for it. It comes out this September. I have no clue what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> no, no, I know. And I've never heard of this character. No, no, I, trust me, I haven't too. But I, I've seen the teaser trailer, and it looks really <laughs> oh, okay. It looks really good, and like something. Obviously, I can't remember if it's Japanese or Chinese. I can't really remember. I think it's Japanese, but like, ah, it's a very different feel. But I love it at the same time because it works. Like it's Marvel. It's just Sounds it good. expands like different like diversity. So definitely check it out because it's really cool and I can't wait to see it eventually. Jackie Chan is a Marvel hero. I'm down. That would be really like eye popping. It would like it would, but it would definitely be distracting. <laughs> plus, plus with these Marvel movies, you got to get these lower actors that can build up these contracts. Yeah. Jackie Chan, eh. it would be yeah, nice, a but legend, bro. you can have him play a villain. Dude, that'd be funny. You can have him play a like, villain for like, like one movie, had, but uh, um, I can't remember his name. Harry Potter played the villain in uh, 90s CD2. Uh, Daniel Radcliffe. Yeah, Daniel Radcliffe. They had him play the villain in a magic movie. I thought that was funny as fuck. <laughs> like, uh, they're they're gonna be actually bringing in the actual Mandarin in the uh, movie oh, as well. Finally. Yeah, I know. Finally, not the bullshit from Iron Man Three. Fucking teaser trailer <laughs> at the end of Iron Man Three. Yeah. That, that's we don't want to go back to that mandarin but yeah they're actually going to be doing all that shit so i'm very excited like marvel still has a really good year and we're only halfway through with loki what if um if they do the hawkeye series i don't know they have a lot of stuff coming out and very very excited but overall we have been rambling for a lot overall falcon and the winter soldier definitely want uh, like up there in the top like at least three best disney plus shows still think loki is going to hold the top spot and it's even going to beat mandalorian but yeah let's just see what happens thank you guys for watching our reaction you guys are excited for the rest of the mcu disney plus series and you guys like our channel like subscribe comment down below and if you guys want to get notified on when we release videos definitely smash the notification bell and as always i am omzi that is schmitty and we are out